Yesterday I posted a video review of the Garrett Industries Silent Thunder STX 2.0 holsters and uh, I really sang the praises of the uh, the holster for my Wilson EDCX9 mentioned a couple of problems I was having with the holster for my uh, Dan Wesson ECO so welcome to Riders Range and uh, this is a um, for the most part a redemption video uh, and I do want to go into this saying that uh, I really love the quality of workmanship of uh, the Garrett Industries holsters. I, I can't speak highly enough of how well made they are. Uh, and again, the, the, the glitch with the, uh, uh, the ECO in the holster notwithstanding, I still uh, am um, a supporter of uh, Garrett Industries. Again, this is not a paid promotion. They aren't giving me any financial consideration, uh, no products. Everything that I've, uh, uh, that I've, that I've displayed from uh, Garrett has been purchased with uh, my own money. So a couple of things, um, and before you say that uh, the response that I'm going to talk about here momentarily was only because um, Riders Range is on YouTube and has a whole whopping 1,635 followers as of today or subscribers, um, the first contact I had with Garrett was uh, last fall with a uh, another holster, their Silent Thunder Champion holster. I had a minor problem with that, uh, and uh, they didn't know me from Adam. I didn't talk about uh, YouTube channel or anything. Uh, I sent them an email. They emailed right back, uh, explained the problem. Uh, they were um, aware of it. I sent the holster back at their expense. They fixed it and sent it right back to me. Uh, again, they didn't know me from Adam. So uh, the response that I got today, just after sending uh, the video to them today, uh, was not surprising. The only thing that was surprising, instead of getting an email, I actually got a personal call from Ron Garrett. We talked about some of the issues with uh, uh, the, uh, the holster, not just the fact that it's uh, the holster design, but the fact that a three and a half inch barrel gun um, is gonna be a, a, a different, um, different leveraging different pivoting as one draws than a four or four and a half inch so we talked about um, a couple of the modifications that uh, that I could do number one I increased the cant on this and it now pretty closely matches the the cant on the um, on my EDC X9 holster uh, it's a just a hair more than I would normally use but I increased the cant um, I changed the tension on the screws at the bottom I played with several different tension positions and uh, ended up with um, the bottom one just a little bit tighter than the than the top screw um, and then of course I did contour we talked about that yesterday with the that flap sticking out so I got while I had the heat gun out I did recontour that so that it doesn't print now and again uh, Garrett Industries was uh, aware of that and they've corrected that on uh, these holsters uh, even after all that, I still got some drag, particularly on this short barrel gun. Now, I, I do want to say that the ECO has a different slide profile, and right here, you can see where it's uh, likely to um, be, well, actually where it is doing the hang-up, because this shoulder right here is sharp just because of the profile of the slide. Now, on the Wilson EDC X9, you look at the uh, the same place, it's got a similar um, almost a tri-cut to the slide, but you can also see that the edges are beveled here, so there's nothing really to uh, to grab with that. So, I went through my stash of short guns, and uh, I tried my Kimber. Uh, that uh, doesn't it has a different slide profile than the uh, Dan Wesson, uh, but the e, uh, the STI Electra, which I did in um, what part 22, our final part in the Great Affordable 1911 series, has a more rounded slide profile here, and even though it's still a 90 degree cut, it still doesn't seem to be uh, as sharp right here where it was digging in. So uh, the problem still is that short barrel and the pivot point. However, took the uh, the front uh, belt clip off um, and uh, did a little judicious work with uh, the heat gun and uh, the back end of a crescent wrench and uh, actually pushed out just a little bit right here at the top so that this gun no longer has a serious hang-up issue and I put this holster on and uh, I probably got 50 draws from my normal position and I didn't have any problem uh, unless I really did an exaggerated forward press on the gun I could get it to hang up just a little bit but 
I'm very comfortable that I can have good retention with the gun, uh, with the holster in the gun. And oh, by the way, I know for the, the safety nannies out there, everything is unloaded. You'll see this is a different ECO than I had on yesterday because I didn't want to take the trouble to unload the one that I carry every day. So this is my second uh, 9mm ECO. Anyway, changing the tension a little bit and changing the cant just a little bit, but also changing that internal channel right up here just pushing it out just a little bit with a heat gun has made a world of difference and this uh, holster is now good to go so this is uh, going to be passed on to Garrett Industries and again uh, Ron Garrett and I had a good long talk today um, and uh, it just reaffirms my belief even before they knew I had a YouTube channel uh, reaffirm my belief that they have the absolute uh, finest customer service that uh, that I've dealt with uh, extremely Extremely happy with the product, extremely happy with the the service, and I will be dealing with Garrett again and again at, uh, on my dime. So um, very, very happy with them. This is, I have these two holsters, the two uh, magazine carriers that I mentioned yesterday, and I have one more holster that I have out here right now, the Silent Thunder Champion, that I'm very pleased with, and uh, I think I'll probably be ordering another one. So uh, that was it, just a final um, let you know that how things worked out and they, they did work out well. I appreciate the suggestions from viewers and uh, on changing the cant and uh, some of the other uh, suggestions they made. Um, and again, I'd uh, really, really thank the viewers for chiming in on this and uh, appreciate the followers. If you like this video, we appreciate a, uh, there we go, thumbs up. And um, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe and notifications button so that uh, you get uh, notified of any Riders Range videos coming up. And uh, again, I want to thank you for visiting Riders Range and I want to thank Garrett Industries for a tremendous customer service experience.